Good morning everyone. Myself Sampar Kumar Balaji, Master Professor from the Great Department, St. Martin's Jai College. So in this semester, my subject is basic electrical and electronics engineering. So apart from the subject, I am going to choose one topic that is an important topic for the machines, electrical machines. So that is a transformer. Transform. So now, first we can see that what is a transformer, what is the definition, so what is the need of transformer, how it is, what is the working principle and all those things. So first, in this session, I am going to explain what is the need of transformer, what is the definition of transformer. Transformer. So transformer is a static device which transfer the electrical energy which transfer the electrical energy from one electrical circuit to another electrical circuit transformer is a static device electrostatic device which transfer the electrical energy from one electrical circuit to another electrical circuit without changing magnetic so without changing frequency without changing frequency so a transformer also using the medium of magnetic field, using the medium of magnetic field. So we have to justify the definition. And first, what is the need of transformer? I want to explain what is the need of transformer. After that, I am going to explain what is the principle and principle of operating and all these things. What is the need? So in general, in general. Our power system in general, our power system consists of consists of generating station, power generating station, power generating station. So in the power generator, how we will know the power generating stations? So we will produce the power at four points. So suppose it is a power point. So at this power point, suppose it has the energy of 2600 megawatts. 2600 megawatts. At what point is this power is produced? So, in, in, in our India, it is approximately 11 kV. It is 11 kV. In modern, modern power station, modern generators, it is up to 30.2 kV. It is a modern generator. Okay. So, this is our generating power at this voltage. So, after that, we have to transmit. We have to transmit this power. This is the transmission line. From to the transmission line. So there are the big lines. So for the big lines up to grid. Up to what? Grid. This is a grid. Up to grid. So we have to transfer this power. We have to transfer this power. The power loss in the transmission line is very high. Power loss in the transmission line is very high. Why? Because so see we will see that. So the power loss, the power loss is equals I square into R loss. I square into R loss. So now we see how this uh, how we can reduce this power. So now this is the power. So actual power is what? What does it do? Current. Then from this equation, what is the current? The voltage is power by the voltage. If you substitute this value in this equation, that is power loss is equal to what? P square. Where P is what? What is the power by P square into R. P square into R. So that means what? How much times of voltage is increasing? That much of times of Power, power loss is reduced. Power loss is reduced. So we have to transfer the power. We have to increase the voltage. First one is what? To transfer the power, we have to increase the voltage because to reduce the power loss. So that is the one thing. So now we suppose an energy. So first case is what? We have to increase in the voltage. Increase in the voltage. Where at the radio station. So, after increasing the voltage, suppose I can increase the voltage uh, by some degree up to 11 kV. So, this is the grid. At grid, I am collecting all the voltages from various power parts. So, after that, I have to distribute this one. So, I have to distribute this one. So, suppose I am going to some take some domestic car industries. So, in domestics, we have the only 430 volts. If industry is 440 volts. So what our incoming voltage is what? 400 kV. This is much more larger than our 
requirement. Much more, that is the lower requirement. So what we need to do? We need to decrease this voltage. We need to decrease this voltage. So that means what? At generating point, at generating station, we have we need to increase the voltage. At consumer, so the question is what? Consumers. At consumer end, we need to decrease the voltage. We need to decrease the voltage. So that means what? So in order to increasing and decreasing the voltage, we need we need some equipment. So that electrical equipment is called transformer. It's called transformer. That is the actual need of transformer. So this is the actual need of transformer. So that means what? What is the function of transformer? Where it from? So the transformer is used to increasing or decreasing the voltage. Voltage. There was so simply we can say that we can step up or step down the voltage. Step up or step down the voltage. So that is the importance of transformer. That is the importance of transformer. So now we are going to study the symbol of transformer, study the physics and operation and functions. Next. Symbol. First we can say the symbol. This is the symbol of transformer. सिंबल 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 Loss of electro magnetic induction. Paradise loss of electro magnetic induction. So, so in that we are going to use mutual induction. Mutual induction. So now we see the paradise loss of electro magnetic induction. So according to Faraday's law, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, whenever a current carrying conductor, whenever a current carrying conductor links with a changing flux, links with a changing flux, an EMF is induced in the conductor. An EMF is induced in the conductor. That EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux. The rate of change of flux. The rate of change of so this is the electromagnetic induction. That is also electromagnetic induction. So, so in that, our main principle is what mutual induction. Mutual induction. Now, now we can see. Now we can see what is the operation of the transformer. What is the operation of the transformer? If suppose uh, first we take the diagram, black diagram of the transformer. Now the transformer, this, 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 black diagram of the transformer, this is a pole, the transformer and this one magnetic pole, this is the magnetic pole, magnetic pole, so on the magnetic pole we can place the winding, we can place the winding and these are the winding or number of terms. And this is the winding. So after time this winding, so the winding which is the winding which is connected to the supply mains, the winding which is connected to the supply mains is called as primary winding. Supply mains is called primary winding. The winding which is connected to the load. This is the load. The winding which is connected to the load. Is called as secondary winding. Secondary winding and this is called primary winding. Secondary winding. This is the supply line. That means when I am giving the supply, I am giving the supply some voltage. I am giving the supply some voltage. Below the this supply, some current is flowing. That is, I can say I one. Some current is flowing below the. Primary winding. Some current is going through the 
primary bending. So that that is what primary character I got. So that is I got. So these are the number of terms. N one number of terms of primary bending. N one. So these are the number of terms of secondary bending. N two. N one and N two. N one is what number of terms of the primary bending. N two is what number of terms of the secondary bending. N one and so now see the operation. So this voltage, this voltage, that is AC voltage, that is the voltage. I am giving the voltage. So after I am um, applying this voltage, what happens? Some current is going to the winding. So this is the current going to the winding. Current going to the winding. So now that I one and L one. This is I one and L one, which produces the impedance. That is the magneto motive force. Magneto motive force. So this magneto motive force sets up the flux. Sets up the flux. Makes up flux. This magneto motive force sets up the flux. So that flux is flowing. That flux is flowing. The flux is flux means what? Magnetic force of lines. Flux is what? Magnetic force of lines. So these lines. So these. So this entire field is what magnetic. So now I have now here observe here I have the current carrying conductor. I have the current carrying conductor. I am changing flux. Why changing flux? Because of this AC flux. Why is it AC? Because of this potential from the AC supply. Okay. So now that is the that is why we have the changing flux and. Number of terms. So according to our Faraday's law, whenever whenever we have the current carrying conductor linked to the changing flux, P M F means P M F. That is P M F. P M F means P M F. That is P M F. Okay. So now our voltage is coming from P M F to P M F. So now this flux and this flux is going through entire course. Why course? This is a magnetic circuit. This is a magnetic circuit. So the flux is produced because of magnet. So this this flux is producing. So this flux is going moving through the entire core. Entire core. So that means what? This is also this is also this flux is also cut by the number of terms of secondary or cut by the secondary winding. Cut by the Secondary winding, so that means what? There is some EMF, there is some EMF, there is some EMF. That is what? E2. There is also E2 EMF. That is the E2. Because of this E2, then I2 is going to the load. So the final is about the load voltage. Load voltage. That is E2. So like this, this voltage can be changed from E1 to E2. From E1 to E2. From E1 to E2. Now see where we have the mutual inductance. So what is the mutual inductance? What is the mutual inductance? The flux, the flux is produced by the one winding. The flux is produced by the one winding is caused to induce EMF in the another winding. It is caused to induce EMF in the another winding. That means what we observe here. This is a flux. This is a flux which is produced by the primary winding. This is a flux which is produced by the Primary line winding, and it, uh, because of this flux, in the second the EMF is induced in the secondary winding. Because of this flux, EMF is induced in the secondary winding. So that is the mutual inductance. That is what mutual inductance. That is why it is called as transformer. The transformer is depend working is depending upon the mutual inductance. Mutual inductance. So and one more thing we have to observe here. First we are doing input as an electrical energy, electrical energy. So this electrical energy it is converting into the magnetic energy. It is converting into the magnetic energy. So after that, this magnetic energy I am reconverting into our useful electrical energy. So that is why the transformer is also called as electromagnetic. Energy conversion device. How much is it called as what? Electro magnetic energy conversion 
James electromagnetic energy conversion devices. So like this, our transformer is operating. So then next class we'll see what is the magnitude of this individual electrons. Thank you.